The Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kadri Hamzat, foreign delegates, former Governor of Lagos and the former Minister of Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, environmental experts and others converge on the Lagos Continental Hotel, Victoria Island for the 10th Lagos International Climate Change Summit. We create a renewable energy product paper. All concerned stakeholders are here to discuss the effect of climate change in Lagos and how the government is championing local adaptation initiatives to sustain the state, which is being highlighted by the State Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources. Celebrating a decade of climate change summit, we have witnessed a transformative shift in global consciousness towards climate action. We are determined to mobilize resources at an unprecedented scale to finance the transition to a low carbon economy and support those most vulnerable to the impact of climate change. The Consul General from the Kingdom of Netherlands, Michel Dielen, says now is the time to take drastic decisions that will address climate change. We talk about Eco-Atlantic and how that, with such technology by the way, but how that protected Victoria Island. Yeah, wonderful, but look what happens down the coast. Many houses in Lekki, for example, will, will flood because they are built on a lower space, below sea level. Even without climate change, that is a problem. The beauty of this is that all these things can be solved. Mr. Babatunde Fashola says climate change is triggered majorly by human conduct and sometimes natural causes that can be mitigated. So the problem at Okwaja has been connected somewhat to the defense of Victoria Island. Nothing can be further from the truth. Coastal erosion is a real life issue. So protecting one place doesn't necessarily mean it is transferring the problem. It just means that more work needs to be done. So as we have finished work in the defense of Victoria Island and Ekoi, I think what will require funding support is the reactivation, if that is the right word, of the plan to construct more groins because those were the tools that we deployed then along the coastal way. The summit provides an opportunity for the deputy governor to explain the steps taken to build a waste to energy plant that will provide electricity in the state and electricity vehicles on Lagos roads. For us in Lagos, it's about what do we need to do to sustain and to build a resilient city. If you build and you don't leave 15 meters to your drainage, it will go. And we have no apology. It's not about where you come from or the God that you worship. No! It has to do with us living well so that for the collective good of everybody. We just had an agreement with uh, a, a Netherlands government with an NMOU giving them 2,500 building around the Ekpe, or some building and uh, a 2,000 ton daily of waste to convert to energy. That's moving progressively. The Global Sixth Assessment Report, AR6, of the IPCC serves as a reminder of the urgency to act against climate change and mobilize climate finance for projects that will safeguard the state from natural disasters.